state's I-STEP test could be facing even more issues. According to a report by the Indianapolis Star, a computer malfunction may have caused some students to have been given the wrong score on some questions. Now, the Indiana Department of Education is asking the testing company McGraw-Hill Education CTB to see if that malfunction caused any scores to be inadvertently changed. It's beyond frustration. It, 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 we've reached the comical stage. We really have. That's a reaction from Lafayette School Superintendent Les Huddle. That's because it's just the latest chapter in a test that's been so plagued with problems. Results still have not been released almost a year after the test was taken. A spokeswoman for McGraw Hill maintains the malfunction did not affect student scores. Huddle says it's unfortunate that the accuracy of those test results, which influence teacher evaluations, raises, as well as school letter grades, is being called into question. He adds it's time to forget last year's test and move on. It wasn't a surprise. The, the whole assessment since last year has, has been a debacle. Um, we have inaccurate scores, possibly. We're, we're getting delayed scores. Um, we're getting scores now uh, so late that um, it's going to be hard for us to even use them to improve our instruction. So we've basically moved on from that. That's unless lawmakers do something about it. The state's House Education Committee chair promises to have a bill in the upcoming legislative session for a one year suspension of ISTEP scores on teacher evaluations, as well as diminish the impact of the scores on school ratings.